welcome students in the series of historical monument we have discussed how to make minaret fencing and gateway today in this video we will combine all the objects to make complete historical monument let's start take a plane resize this take size 50 and 50 and uh, bring this gateway forward Increase size of gateway. Arrange it over here. Now we will make a, a small uh, wall. For making this a small wall, we will take a cube, add a cube. change height and width let's about, uh, take uh, height as 3 and increase the width size before fixing this uh, wall we will take a minute forward and arrange this first take this minute Increase height of minaret as well. Copy minaret uh, by pressing Shift D and press Y on your keyboard to bring this in Y direction. We can increase the size of uh, gateway. Uh, arrange minute and gateway in this way then uh, we will take cube to make a small wall now we can copy this uh, cube in this direction also just press shift d and hold y on your keyboard to bring it in left side and decrease the size Then take this fencing and move it forward and fix it over wall. Increase the count of fencing. Come to modify property, increase the count of fencing. Copy this fencing, press shift D and then Y, place it over here. Decrease account size. Let's fix this a little bit. Okay, this is how we can arrange our objects in the front side. In the front side. Now, what we can do, we can just copy this uh, all the object, select all the object by holding shift T on your keyboard and then press shift D to make duplicate. And then just rotate this in this direction. Make this minus uh, 90 degree for more accuracy. Select all. Click on move tool. And fix it here. Can We can rotate this some more. Okay. Oh, that's good. Now what we can do to arrange this. Uh, to decrease the count of fencing here. We can select this part. We can select this part again. Press Shift D for duplicate, and then rotate in this direction. Now. 
Now for the back part, we can take this cube, press Shift D, and increase the size of this. We will make only small uh, wall for this side. Just arrange this. Now we have made the outer structure of this historical monument. As you can see, that uh, we just need to fix uh, a size a little bit. That uh, here you can see that the size of cube is a little bit more than this one. Oh, okay, so we can arrange this. So now the arrangement is up to you that how you will arrange this, all the things, uh, all the walls, same thing. So make it uh, more better. So I had paused the video to arrange all the things. So now you can see that uh, it looks better from all the direction. Now we will come to the internal structure of the historical monument. For this, we will take this uh, door first. Okay, just press Shift D and make a duplicate of this. Arrange side of door. Decrease the height. Okay. Uh, before making the internal structure of the historical monument, just look at the shape that we are going to achieve. So this is the shape that we are going to achieve. This is the outer surface that we have already made, and this is the internal structure that we are going to make. Okay, come to Blender again. Just press Shift D and make duplicate of this gate. Arrange like this. Again, Shift D for one more duplicate, and arrange like this. Okay, now select all the gateways and send it backward. Shift to D again to duplicate all and send it over here. Select all this and uh, rotate in 180 degree. This one also and this one. Just select this all. Press Shift to D for duplicate. Rotate in this direction. Uh, for accuracy, you can take minus 90 degree. Select all. Fix it here. Select again for the last side, shift D, X direction, and uh, rotate in this direction. Bring it here, place it here. For this, we can increase the size. Just select this. A right click to join all and then we can increase the size in the same way we can select all these and just right click to join this one okay now, in this way, we have uh, achieved our internal structure. Just one more thing we are going to do to make windows inside. For making windows, just select this gateway, press Shift D, bring it forward. And for making window, what we are going to do, just decrease the size of gateway and take a cube, resize this, and fix it here. This is how we can make a window shape. Just select both cubes and then right click and join them. Now, duplicate this window in left direction as well as in right direction. Select all. 
and place it here. Select all, shift B, and in this X direction. Just right click, join them all, and rotate in 180 degree. Select all, shift D, and rotate this in this direction. Resize this. Or what we can do to we can bring all these uh, in. Now fix it. Select this one again. Press Shift D and in this direction, rotate 180 degree. This is how we can make our internal structure also. Now the one thing uh, which we can do more uh, to make the roof for this internal structure, just take a plane. and uh, bring it at center and then resize. Now this is how uh, we can make a roof structure. Just arrange this here a little bit more. Okay, now we can see that that we have achieved a historical monument shape. Now, for a better look, what we can do more, uh, we can take this minaret and send it here also. We can take one by one for a better look. Place it here. Decrease some size. And duplicate this one here also. Select this one again and send in X direction. Place it here. Duplicate again, Y direction, and put it here. Now now almost all the things have done. Uh, one more thing that we can do that uh, take this finishing shape, a small wall uh, at back side also. And uh, we can increase the count. Almost done. Now, uh, this is how we have achieved our historical monument complete shape. Now, what we can do, uh, we can apply the colors on uh, our historical monument. For applying uh, material property, for applying color in historical monument, uh, come to material property, just select this plane first, click on new, click on base color, then select the color. Now, the color will not be visible until you will change your viewport. So, first of all, change your viewport here. Now, the color will be applicable. Now, we can select a gate also, all the gate, and apply the color here. Just come to material property, base color again, and select any color. Okay, let's suppose this color we have selected. Now we can apply this color in all the gates. Just select the gates and apply this one. Okay, now to apply the color in a minute also, just select this one, click on new, base color, select any color here. Now you can take color as per your choice. I'm taking uh, some colors. Now select this uh, roof and uh, I think should apply a yellow color. Select this gateway.
and give a light color. Now select the internal part also and just select a color for this. Now you can choose the colors as per your need. Now this is how we have achieved our historical monument shape. You can look from all the direction. Now you can practice this historical monument shape at your home also. Thank you all.